Hey folks, today is stupid Saturday. We're going to be doing something stupid. I've had literally one and a half people ask me which drone is stronger, i.e. which one has more lift. The uh, WD, uh, JD20 sorry, or the E50 e chine. So, because I like answering questions, I'm going to find out which one has more lift. Uh, I recommend you probably don't try this at home, because I think it could end in complete disaster. Complete disaster. So what I've done is I've velcroed and attached some fishing line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if the JD20 can lift the heat shine off the ground. And then I'm going to see if the e chine can lift the JD20 off the ground. Which do you think will win? A quick poll. I'm thinking the JD20 will lift the e chine. I don't think the e chine will lift the JD20, even though they feel uh, the same weight. In fact, they are pretty much identical. I think this one has more lift than the e chine. So. Let's go check it out. So as I said, first we're going to do the e chine attempting to lift the JD. Now the problem with doing this guys is we're probably going to get our string caught. So we're going to have to make sure that's tight. Okay, before we have lift off. Otherwise we're in trouble. Alrighty, <laughs> this could end in complete disaster. <laughs> For those who think I'm really silly, uh, yeah, I think you're right. What are you beeping? What are you beeping at me? Okay, I'm going to have to fly forward. Uh, otherwise it's going to come back and get tangled. So, here we go. Take one. Air chime. Lifting the JD20. No, complete disaster. Okay. Take two. Okay. All right. That's full lift. And as we can see, a complete disaster. There is no lift sufficient enough to lift the JD20. Like I predicted, the WD. The e chine's gonna be doing the doing the job here, I would suggest. Okay. So now, we are going to try the same thing with the JD20. Okay, I'm predicting this is going to lift off. That's my prediction. I'm probably going to be wrong here, but... Do a quick calibration. Very good. Start her up. Okay. Now we all know this drone's really hard to fly, so let's see how we go here. Come on, lift it up. Come on. Oh, it's nearly, 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 nearly doing it. Well, there you go, folks. Not quite enough lift either, but we're moving it. We're definitely moving it. Oh, we have we have lift off. I believe we are off the ground. We're definitely moving it. Oh, we have we have lift off. I believe we are off the ground. Look at that. There we go. That was definitely lift. That's definitely off the ground. Okay. That's definitely off the ground. Let's try sport mode. Okay. 
to land it on the mat. Okay, let's try sports mode, see if it makes any difference. Here we go. No, it doesn't. We'll stick it on one. Oh. We've broken our tether. So folks, complete disaster. Although a little bit of a good consumer advice there. The JD20 does slightly lift the e chime only just before it breaks away from my um, complex tie down system. Okay, awesome. Now if any of you guys are thinking of getting either one of these drones um, I would recommend getting the e chime for flyability. If you guys are thinking of getting uh, either of these drones I'd certainly recommend easy, easy. I'd certainly recommend getting a, a JD20 if you want a fast fun pack up the neighbourhood drone uh, something that's a bit easy to fly I'll be grabbing the e E58, both fun drones, um, this one here is a lot faster on the controls, a lot harder to fly, this one here is uh, really kid friendly, and uh, yeah, super little unit this one. So, let's just see if we can land him. Hey. Awesome. Yeah, a little bit of fun there, guys. <laughs> so the JD20 just just managed to pull the E-Chine off the ground. The E-Chine had no hope at all. So yeah, this one's got bigger props. Um, the motors I don't think are any more any more powerful, although they are bigger. Um, bigger isn't naturally better. So a little bit of fun. Thanks for watching. See you next video.